welcome back to Franbo. We just won tic-tac-toe and got healed by a giant axolotl. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> Definitely not in that order, but that's the way I thought about it. Anyway, we're, yeah. we're going to the clockmaker so, now. Let's see if there's anyone here. Yes, that guy. That's totally that guy. Hello, what are you doing? Oh, working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. I have sex with clocks. Tick tock. Mm, and do you know where the mountain culture is? Mountain culture only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in the mountain culture. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do, then? Don't pretend like you know what I'm talking about. Go to the bed clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? For pizza. You saw it. I saw you see it. You go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. Find a big clock on a tree. Good luck. But I already saw that clock, and it was broken. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. Never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. Well, what do you mean? Charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here, uh, here, sir, your golden coin. Oh, yes, you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it. Be polite. Oh, sir, clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? Damn right! In exchange for this in piece exchange. of gold and in the name of time, I beg of you, please accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Here's your Oscar. <laughs> Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Wow, I've changed my mind. He is a spider! Ugh. I swear this game is just going, just gonna, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Do I talk to him yeah. or what? Okay. Sure. Hmm, you were right. The clock is broke. Oh, wait, that's you. Hmm, you were right. The clock's broken. You can fix it, right? Of course. Just a second. And ta-da! Now you can play Wheel of Fortune with it. Yeah, um, yes. Uh, oh, there. What is it? Someone peed in the clock. It seems as like somebody was playing a dirty game around those clocks. <laughs> Sounds like you were right, Joe. <laughs> no, I'm not going to think about that any further. What do That's you mean? I, I need to explain it, do I? I mean, someone broke it. It's a moral break in the defense of the clock. Ah! Why would somebody break it? Kamalas, winter, mountain cotrum, the stones, many reasons, miss. Oh, were you, what, what are you talking about? I don't understand. You literally just told me all this. Kamalas, the evil darkness. They work for Remor, the terrible black. They're all members of the KKK or something. And Kamalas are the only ones who are allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. Wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants the stones. What I don't understand is... Why does this game have a plot in the first place? For what purpose? Those I'm starting are... to wonder if this plot even even still connects anymore. I don't care. Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. Sorry, you take notes. And the stones are in the winter time. Is Remora a giant black monster with a goat mask? A, a dead goat mask? Yes. You know him? Yes, I think it's because of him that I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I, I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Remember, time's just fake, and you can do whatever the hell you want or something. 
Wow, that's why you need to go into winter time and go to Mountain Cotter. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Sure, what else? Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that'll make it easy for you. Here, a ham sandwich. Uh, we got a time clock. It's a remote control for the clock. You'll be able to travel in all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Call me Cogwind. Okay. okay. All right, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. I'll never see you again. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're in the desert heat. Hang on. We're in the rainy oh, season. Oh, yeah, you can... And now we're in the winter. We're gonna go back to spring quick because... We need to go right... from here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talk to... Talk Praying to that mantis. thing. Oh, hello! Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Mm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers of the bar, you know? put some other stuff inside too so we can fly oh it's is it cocaine <laughs> we went two completely different alleys with that <laughs> you said red bull and i said cocaine <laughs> maybe it's both <laughs> oh that sounds that's a fly wow i would love to try that it sounds great yeah that is why i wait you can't rush it Hey, the bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. It's Donny Osmond! <laughs> sure. <laughs> you should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> it was just the first now, performer I could think of. <laughs> I'm sorry. <I, laughs> I'm glad you well, got a laugh. This at. is weird. <laughs> Call him? Okay. Um, Let's go to Autumn. That shouldn't be too hard. And can you destroy the basket? Uh, I probably can. Oh, that was so cute. Mr. Midnight's playing in the puddles. Look. <laughs> yeah. Kitty, I I'm going to do something, so act natural. Oh, look at that. He looks so cute when he's uh, nervous. <laughs> oh, the basket won't carry all the lemons now. So now we're going to go to summer. And get a lemon, I guess. Okay, and he's... Because he's going to drop one. There you go. I don't know why you would ever think to do this particular sequence. It's stupid, but we'll continue. Uh, you should stay in summer. No, um, what? No, 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 go back to summer. We're gonna go to the bar, actually, so go right. Oh, boy. And we're gonna talk to a big buff dude over here. Tell him how he eats cereal without the milk, and he'll be really impressed or something. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Hello, sir. I don't have a ticket, but how can I get one? What? All of our thirsty citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. 
All right, sir, I understand, but what I, can I do then? I would really like to go inside. I don't know. This has never happened before. Hmm. I guess I have to find my own way to get inside then. Thank you. Bye. Now, uh, Kimmy, let's go up the mountain. Excuse me. Hmm. All the way up? Sure. Whoa. The Is this hell? how to train your dragon? Oh, Kitty, did you see that, did you? No, I had my eyes closed. Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? Huh, I, I think it was the shadows. Oh, dear, I don't want to see them again. Too bad they're coming back oh, again. No. Yes, Kitty, they were all over the place in the hospital. I, I want to go home. Well, we will go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise? Whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side. Of course, my dear. I promise. Great. Now we have to keep on going. Alright, now that I'm here, what do I do? Uh, let's go back to the big clock room. So next to the tree. Okay. Uh, yep. Palantras! Oh, crap. Palantras, sir! Hey, you get to see the kitty. Wait, we'll don't that. go. Oh, no, he looked really bad, the kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. Physician, heal thyself. I hope so, kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. Let's take the feather. Right. I don't know why he has feathers in the first place, but... This is Volantra's feather. Okay. I hope it gets better soon. We're gonna go... Uh... To the beach again? Okay. So yeah, I think that's down left. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Now we can take the boat. This must be extraordinary boats with special abilities. Uh, I can't take the boat. Do I use a feather on the boat? Okay, no, I don't. This is summer, ain't it? Wait, what about the one behind you? A boat ready to depart up and beyond. Woo! Maybe I need to be... Get in! Oh, I can't! Ghost... We've just seen Palantras. Yeah, I know kind of where we are, but are we in the right... Let me try some other timelines. Okay, different idea. Um, let's go back to the clock room and go left? Oh, maybe that is right. Because, I guess... There are two beaches. We need a broken fishing rod, too, and that you would think they'd be at the beach, right? But, Hello. Oh, for F6. <sighs> yep. Okay. Go Dragon. ahead, get in the frickin' boat, because this is the right boat. Yeah. Oh, look, Kitty, get in the boat. We're going for a ride. We could have done that earlier, you know, but you were too much of a wimp. Okay. He looks scared. <laughs> go as far left as you can go. Okay. We're, oh, we're back here. Yep. Oh, Fran, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge to get to your purse. Wow, Kitty, you're very clever. I hope we find my things. <coughs> Shouldn't be too hard. Exactly. Ta-da. Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills are not here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing any, me any good anyways. Maybe they will appear someday. Let's keep going now. Yes, I found you, dear clothes. Kind of me, your only wearer. Do I wear them? Sure, can you? It, um, huh. I can't use clothes with Fran. Okay. Whatever. 
Maybe they're a different puzzle. Now we're gonna go back to the market. We're gonna talk to Smith. I don't know who Smith is. Oh, well, there's only one other option, really. Well, no, there's three other options. Exactly. He will fix the fishing rod for three coins, which is why we played tic-tac-toe as much as we did. Oh, jeez! Come closer, Fran. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you're looking for. Oh, mother. Or is that Aunt Grace? Uh, I wanted a McMuffin. Mommy? Is that you, Mommy? My beloved daughter, come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There is nothing to be afraid of. Come, Fran, you have to come closer. I want to kiss you. Do I it, Fran! Do I it! But you can't be my mother. She is dead. You have to come closer now. If you don't, the big monster will come and get you. No, you're not my mummy. Let Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you! Mummy, you're scaring me. Mummy, stop it, please. Guys, I don't think she's actually uh, falling for the mom coming out of my giant mouth. <laughs> ah, whatever. Let's go. Okay, Let's Smith. go to the market, I guess. Well, if it's... Oh, okay, I think we're in the wrong timeline, though, right? <laughs> Ta-da. Welcome back. Uh, Are we in the wrong timeline? Nah, I don't think so. I think you can get the fishing rod fixed whenever. I just don't know who's going to fix it. It'd probably be the blacksmith. Sure. Maybe that's what... Oh, Smith. Smith blacksmith. Hello, I'm Fred. Uh, his name's Pruder, what so... What are you doing? G'day, I'm Pruder. I'm molding this piece of iron. Oh, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clock master. Oh, I see. So you can do all kinds of metallic stuff? Sure. I have some ideas. We can talk about them and put I am. I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but for my services, you know where I am. Right I still here. think it's him because, uh, because he's a smith. A blacksmith. Well, let's see if he takes this crap. Yeah. Yep. Sir, look, I found a fishing rod, but it's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? Huh? You just said the exact same thing someone else did back in the hospital. Oh, the, the well, nurse. That's not suspicious at all, is it, small child? Really? Who? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse, when I broke the curtain. Hmm. Now, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're quite strange. It's almost as if that would have been better suited to just, like, leaving it to the player to figure out. Yeah. Well, let's forget about it. Can you please make me a hook for the fishing rod? Yeah, let's do it. If you give me one coin, I can give you a half a hook. Give me two coins and lead to get an entire... You'll get an entire working hook. I don't need half a hook. I need the whole thing. The whole thing will cost you three coins. One coin for half a hook and two for the working one. Deal? That's a stupid deal. Don't think. Just get their money. That's oh, how capitalism works. Oh, sir, you're too complicated. I'll bring you a coin soon. Bye. Ah, uh, Stuart. Here you three what about coins, taxes? sir. Screw you. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. And here's your hook. I hope it works fine. Well, that was quick. Guess I pull it out of my butt. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, sir. It's perfect. I have to go now. Bye. Better. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. Now, there should be a. We need to now. No, the. You can combine the rod with the hook, but we need thread. Well, where would we get thread? 
back at the market. Of course. And we don't have to pay for it? No, I don't believe so. And if we do, we have to play tic-tac-toe again. Oh, there he is! Oh, show him the fishing rod. Okay. Hello, miss. I was wondering if you have spread for the fishing line, do you? Fishing line thread! Yes, yes, I have some. Do you want it? Aha, uh -huh, yes, please. How much is it? Well, well, quite a lot. Is that good? Oh, I mean, price-wise, miss. I only need enough for fishing line. No, I forgot to think about a price. You see, I've never sold anything before. But you know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. I hope you don't go out of business. <laughs> don't worry. We have a welfare state in this universe. You oh, know. geez. Oh, wow. Thank you, miss. I hope you settle some prices and sell something soon. Bye. I don't care about the market. <laughs> Okay, now I combine you with you. We have a fishing rod, a fish extractor. Nope. Sure. Now if we go back to the crossroads, the fish are right there in the stream. Nope, the crossroads was right oh. there, and you were already there. Sorry, Sorry, there are two crossroads. I should have been more specific. Yeah, it's okay. The one next to the water where you can see fish. Oh, look. Oh, look at Mr. Midnight. He's so cute. I can't get over how cute Mr. Midnight is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I caught the fish. I'm very sorry. <laughs> okay, so now we... It's winter time. <laughs> okay, winter time. And we're going to go back up the mountain. And we need to... There'll be a secret passage somewhere. I don't know. Probably at the mountain. Then once I think once we hit the wizard, that might be a good stopping point for this episode. I think so too. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow, secret indeed. Not exactly what I thought the wizard would look like. Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Maybe do a kind of a Dumbledore voice, but it's up to you. Sure, if he says something. Yeah. Sorry, sir, I'm Fran, and I need your help. Is this the mountain Cotrum? Excuse me. Excuse me, can you talk? You have too many questions. That's good. Oh, sorry, sir. The king told me you could help me. Do you want to help me brew beer in here? <laughs> what the king says, we do. Also, I know this is probably not a reference, but that kind of looks like Max from Sam and Max right there. I I guess I actual I dabble with fake magic when I feel like it. <laughs> I also have an eye chart in the back in case I don't know you're into that. I need you to lend me the stones to open a door to my world. The stones are missing, and I I don't remember where they are. Of course you don't. Bye. Every time they seek I hide. Every time I hide I forget. So they can't be found. They? You mean the Black Shadow, sir? I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw a Trix commercial and I don't know how they did it. I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again, how? He makes my brain hurt. Dude, it's just a black flap at the bottom of the hat that you stick the rabbit under. I know, I know. From under the flap, that's the end. I know that's how it works in the real life, but his, his contemplating on the nothingness is what makes my brain hurt. Well, that's because he's getting all philosophical about it, and it's just... <sighs> Sir, why didn't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. <laughs> Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? <laughs> I think he's been huffing chemicals. 
No. <laughs> Who are you again? That means me, just so you know. Good day, sir. The king, the king sent me here for the stones. Did you see the skulls hanging from my ceiling? I killed those people. The stones. <laughs> it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. You see, the Rolling Stones are holding a concert here, and you should go see them. No, I made the most fantastic spell of all time, so nobody could find them. Okay. You know, the Black Shadows, the Kamalas, they try to steal them all the time. It's like Team Rocket, so I have to be sure. The King told me that the Stones would open a door to go home. Mm, the Stones are hiding. I hide them from the Kamalas, because they take... Oh, no, I said that. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Even though I'm the one who hid them. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find five items. <laughs> are you joking? Oh, come on, man! That aren't, those aren't the stones, are they? They better be the stones. I'm gonna kill this son of a. <laughs> let's let's see. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that makes sense. Then the only one who can bring them back is me. I see. Well, tell me the riddles. There's no time to lose. Okay, so there's a train heading west at 20 miles per hour. No. No, <laughs> please. I'd rather die as a tree. Fred and Bill are brothers, and their sister's name is Cindy. How old is Cindy? Thirty-two. <laughs> ah, that was a good guess. <laughs> What's black, white, and red all over? A sunburn of an embarrassed skunk. Okay. Ah, but I was thinking of a zebra that got covered in blood. Oh my god, no! <laughs> this is the star of a thirst. Uh, whatever. Umkapa, you know the jazz. The greatest guy to the sky, even though we're indoors. The greatest caretaker of this land. Oh wow, that sounds great! Don't mock me. I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. <laughs> oh boy. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the Star of Athirsta on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Okay. We have the... we have them. Okay. Oh, so Wizard, the king told me that you could make me human again. Do you think I give a damn? Did he? Hmm, I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You... you don't remember, but how... but I can't go home as a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to cover some of my knowledge. It involves me hitting myself in the head with this hammer. <laughs> Perhaps we could try to make you a human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Or maybe I'm lying. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out the riddles, and I guess everything will be fine, maybe, sure. Sir, do I need something special to become a human? Well, I don't know. But I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. Get me Calvin Klein number five. No, that's backwards. <laughs> so bring me your clothes, and we'll see how it goes. Can you explain the riddles again? Okay, freaking hell. I just... Let's just skip through this, because I already know. Yeah. No, the rabbit science is waiting for me. All right, now let's look at the thing. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. That's the that's the lemon. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. That's the fish. Light and hollow. I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of man. That's a feather. And what's the burning hard thing, though? Matches. Oh, well, fair enough. Okay, the matches go on one. The mat, the uh, the lemon goes on one dot, 
the fish goes on two dots, and the uh, the feather goes on three dots. Yep, it's just clockwise. Okay, this episode's done. Yeah, we can do this really quickly, though. Oh, well, he, you know he's going to give you a bunch of crap that you have to do. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Franbo. If you like it, leave me a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Go check out Joe's channel. We'll see you all next time.